By the end of this video, we'll have added a background music manager to our game, as well as a slider where we can increase the volume of our background music, as well as our sound effects. But that was in the previous video. Also, when we die, our music will pause. And when we press retry, our music will start again. Cool, let's check it out. So first of all, let's right click and go create empty. Call this music manager. On here, we're gonna add a component and add an audio source. And then click add component, go new script and call it music manager. If we double click on this to open it up, then in here, just like we did for our sound effect manager, we're gonna want a static instance of this. So we're gonna go private, static, music manager, instance. With this, we'll be able to call our music manager from any of our other scripts. Next, we'll want a private audio source called audio source, a public audio clip, which I'm gonna call background music, and then square brackets serialize field for our private slider. Hover over and click using unityengine.ui. And I'll call this our music slider, which we're gonna to use to set our volume. Cool, next again, like we did in our last video, we're gonna to wanna to set up our instance. So we wanna say if instance equals null, instance equals this, and then don't destroy on load this game object. And above this, we'll go audio source equals get component audio source, which will grab the audio source off of this game object. Then we wanna say else, if there is an instance, destroy this game object. So we only have one. Now we don't need this update, so let's remove this. And make a function called public void play background music. I want to be able to reset our songs in case we die and we want to start it again. So I'm going to cut, pass in a boolean called reset song. And I'm also going to pass in a optional audio clip. So we're able to change our background song. If you type equals null, this makes this parameter optional. So we don't have to pass in a audio clip when we call this. So now we want to say if our audio clip does not equal null, we're going to want to set our audio source dot clip to equal our new audio clip. Else if our audio source's clip is not currently null, so we're currently playing a song and we haven't passed in a new one, we're going to say audio source play. However, if we do want to reset the song, the way to reset it is by stopping and then starting the song again. So we want to say above this, if reset song audio source dot stop, and then we let it call play. Cool. If for any reason you want a pause button for your music, I don't currently have a pause function in my game, but to do this, you'll just call pause background music, which we're writing now, and you just go audio source dot pause. And after using this, you just call play background music again and have reset song set to false. So when I start the game, I want our music to start playing. So I'm gonna say if background music, which is the one we're passing in, is not null, as it's gonna be our default background music, I'm gonna play background music. I don't want it to reset the song because we've only just started. And then I wanna pass in background music. So this will play as soon as our game starts and as soon as this script loads up. That's everything for the music. Now I'm gonna set up our slider so we can manage the volume of our music. So we're going to want a public static void set volume, taking in a float parameter called volume. And we're going to want to go instance dot audio source dot volume equals volume. So now in start, we want this to happen whenever our volume slider is changed. So same as last time, we'll go music slider dot on value change dot add listener. And we'll pass in delegate curly brackets, set volume brackets, music slider dot value, and then semicolon after the brackets and semicolon at the very end. And quickly, before I forget, we don't want this to be an else if, we want it to just be an if. And that's it. Let's go back to Unity. And in my UI canvas, I actually have one already set up from last video of our volume slider. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and go music volume slider. If you haven't got this, all you have to do is right click on UI, go UI slider. And the settings that we've changed on this down the bottom is set the max value to be one, set navigation to be none. And at the top, I just made the scale two by two. Now on my scene, I'm gonna click the move tool, move this down a bit. And real quickly in my UI, I'm just gonna add some text to both of these. So now we can differentiate between our two sliders, the top one being for sound effects, the bottom one for being our background music. I'm going to click on music manager and in our music slider slot, I'm going to drag in our music volume slider. Now for our background music, I went on to Pixabay, a website that has copyright free and royalty free music. I found this one by Lesia Koa called Pixel Perfect. I downloaded this. So now in Unity, I can drag this in to my sound folder. Select Music Manager, lock this at the top of the inspector with a little padlock and drag in my background music into the audio slot. And I'm also going to tick loop in our audio source so our background music keeps looping. So now when I press play, we can now hear our music. I'm gonna turn down my background music, which is much better. 
Now it would be cool if when we die our music stops and then restarts when we press retry. So let's make use of the functions we added in our music manager. My game over screen is handled in my game controller. So I'm gonna to go to here. So I'm gonna click on my game controller and double click on our script. Then where my game over screen is being set to active, I'm gonna call music manager dot pause background music. Now you can see this has a red underline. It's saying it's not static. If we go back to our music manager, we need to set our pause background music to static and our play background music to static. So these can be accessible outside of our manager. Now to get to our audio source in these, if we copy instance dot from above, paste it in front of all of these audio sources, it'll fix our problem. So sorry about that, we all make mistakes. So back into our game controller, our pause background music is now working. And when we reset our game and press retry and the game starts playing again, we're gonna want our music manager to play the background music. And I could have it not reset the song and I'll show you what that sounds like. If we go back to Unity and press play, once we've let the music run a bit, you can hear we're into it. Music pauses. Now when we press retry, music continues to where it was left off. This could be a choice in your game if you want it. Let me turn the music off. This could be a choice in your game if you want it to sound like that. But for me, I think I want it to reset the song. So back in the game controller, I'm just gonna set our play background music reset song boolean to be true. So when we go back now and press play, again, I'm gonna turn these down a bit. I'll go take damage on these spikes. So you can hear we're into the middle of the song here. And then when we die, it stops and we press retry. It starts again from the slow beginning. But cool, now we've got a background music and sound effects in our game. You don't have to have these volume sliders always at the top, of course. They should be in a settings menu. But for testing purposes, it's quite nice to have them here. Just messing around with default values and stuff. But yeah, very cool. In our next video, we're gonna add a simple main menu screen, just with a start and quit button to make our game feel a little more complete. As always, you can find the code for this on my Patreon, as well as any other videos I've done. So check it out if you wanna support the channel and grab the code for yourself. For yourself. <laughs> cool, see you in the next one, bye.